Right, okay. So um, I'm going to, uh, I've obviously been drawing this cat and uh, I want to kind of work on this bit here as a small, very focused tutorial looking at uh, texture, looking at mixing colours and getting really lovely smooth transitions where we need to and getting texture in when we need to. So this is drafting film that I'm using. Um, it's the graphics 0 0.005 double matte. I have a piece of, hang on, I have a piece of Dural art underneath. I don't know if you can see that moving around under there. Might be able to see it a little bit there. So I've got a piece of Dural art underneath so that it's smooth. And then I have a piece of the, I can't remember what it's called now. It's the um, graphics, it's like a white film. Um, underneath here as well so I can put my get rid of my line art and my line art is printed on a piece of white paper behind it so like a creamy whitey paper underneath it and then I can just bring that, that piece of um, very smooth white paper in over the top if I want to get rid of my line art okay so I've mostly been using polychromos and luminance mostly the polychromos um, and I've been using a slice tool and I've been using my Tombow so the Tombow I'm using is this one here they come in black as well I've got some black ones but this one is um, the little white and blue one it's a bit grubby um, but this is the um, mono zero and it's the 2.3 millimeter so I've been using this to create some of these little um, sort of definitions but mostly I'm using my pencils um, and then I've also got the slice tool here this is the um, manual pen cutter you can see if I put that there you can see the the blade is sort of like a chisel shaped and I've been using that to get a little bit of texture in as well but the, for the whole part these cats are very very soft fur um, so um, I'm wanting to kind of tr try and keep everything as soft as possible so I'm going to be working in this ear here you can see I've already got the colour in on the on the top of the ear we're now going to be looking at doing this little area uh, around it that is I mean, it's white hair, but it is obviously not white. Uh, there's a definite colour in there. So I'm going to start off with a warm grey one, polychromos warm grey one. Um, and I'm just going to bring my sheet of glassine in to rest my hand on. Really, really important when you're working on film that you rest your hand on, on something because you can get lots of oils and everything from your hand onto the surface. So I've got my uh, warm grey one, polychromous warm grey one. It's not particularly sharp. Um, I have been using some sharp pencils in here, but for, for this kind of thing, all I'm wanting to do is bring some value in, some uh, some some tone in there. Um, and there's, there's, a, there's a few different ways of, of doing this. Obviously, it's quite light. Um, you can go sort of quite gung ho. So when we were you, when we were doing, or if you were doing the bear in art club, we were we were going quite quickly. We were going a little bit gung ho with all of that the um, the details. This piece, because I've, I'm not on a time limit really, I'm going much, much, much slower and being a lot more precise with where my pencil strokes are going and where. Uh, my slice marks will go if I bring the slice in. So I'm just bringing this, you can't really see it on the thing, but I'm just bringing the warm grey up to here and it's kind of coming around. We've got little um, bits of hair coming over the top here, but they're going to go on with the slice tool, so I don't need to put those in. And then I'm just going to kind of come up onto the edge of that ear there. Again, it's quite light, so all I'm doing is I'm just bringing in that sort of grey value in there. Um, I can also look at bringing a little bit of this hair in here as well. That's sort of slightly darker, so I'm going to use a warm grey four for that. Uh, warm grey four, that's warm grey three. Do you know what? I kept on picking the warm grey four up yesterday all of the time. So this is the warm grey four. Again, it's not sharp. Now the pressure I'm going to use, I'm just going to bring a little bit of this in on, on, the, um, on the other side of there. I'm using really, really, really light pressure. And what I want to do is I want to try and create a lovely soft layer of pencil that um, you can't really see the pencil lines. That's my aim when I'm putting the, uh, the fur down on here. And it's, 
is it really important? I mean, everybody has their own style, but for me, this is about getting beautiful softness in the fur and and it means that there aren't going to be any ridges in it there's there's not going to be any texture or anything in it it just needs to be really really lovely and uh, lovely and soft it may look a little bit darker than um than what you were sort of thinking it might look but actually once you get the dark fur on the top there as well it will look sort of slightly lighter plus we're going to bring some of the tombow in now for hair like this it is it can be a little bit daunting when you look at it, you know, and the first thing you sort of be thinking is, oh, oh my goodness, how on earth am I going to get, you know, all of that in there? And actually, it's literally just about starting. It's just about, well, do you know what? I'm just going to start here and I'm going to see what happens. Um, having that really, really positive, out, uh, you know, outlook uh, that it's going to work really nicely, um, you know, and then inevitably it, it will. Uh, so what I want to do now is I'm not going to do much more on that bit there. I don't want to go off the top there, but I just wanted something in as almost like a placeholder for this little bit of uh, this fluff coming out of the cat's ear here. So when I come down to this area here, you can see that there's the hair goes up this way. We've then got stray hairs coming this way and we've got hairs going that way. And then you've got that little bit of black behind it. Um, so... What I'm going to do first off is I'm just going to put this little bit of dark in behind here. Now, the reason that I'm I'm kind of really having a, a, a good think about how I'm going to tackle this hair, um, the reason I'm going to put that dark area in there is because, because I'm using the, the drafting film, because I'm going to use a little bit of the slice tool to actually have this dark in there before I put these bits in over the top, it's going to give me a much better structure and I'm going to be able to kind of see where I'm going. So it's a really, really good idea when you have a piece like this that is really quite challenging, is having a good think about it and think, right, well, if I did this first and then if I did that first or if I did that first, how would it happen? How would it, how would it work? And would it be better if I just did this little bit first or that little bit first? Um, so I'm going to put this area in here and I'm going to use the dark sepia. I can bring it bl black in or anything like that in afterwards, not a problem. So this again is quite blunt and I'm just going to go really, really, really gently and I'm just going to start to bring in literally just very, very, very soft pencil strokes, really soft, like you're almost not touching the, the paper nice and gently nice and slow let's come up through there really really gently we just want a little sort of hint of color in there and then i'm just going to come around i'm going to bring a little bit of fur going that way you just want that beautiful softness and again using a darker color means you can go gentler with your pressure uh you know and get sort of like a um a good value with your pigment rather than if you used a lighter color and you'd have to go a little bit harder so i'm just kind of come through there this what i'm doing here it does seem like i'm drawing every single tiny little bit of hair um, you know, but actually it's just it's just the same as if you were doing any any sort of thing. We're just being really, really gentle um, and just bringing that block of colour in there. So we can go a little bit darker. So that's all good. And then I'm going to bring a little bit into here as well. So you can see on the edge of the ear here, this is quite dark. And then we've got this area here where we've got the, um, we've just got a little bit of texture going on in there. Now we are going to bring the slice tool in, um, you know, to help with that texture, but we can't bring the slice tool in just yet because we won't be able to see what we're doing and, and what we're taking out. So I'm going to use the dark sepia again, just to really gently just pull in some of those little hairs 
and you know a piece like this you're going to be using a few different techniques to be able to get the quality of the fur the quality of the fur is what's important you know with a piece like this it, there's no eyes so there aren't any eyes to have a look at so it's the focus is all on the fur quality and the softness of the fur and how you've drawn the fur um so it's really 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 key to make sure that you are uh, replicating that so we need to be following the direction uh, which is super important which is the same with everything um, and we want to be really looking at the um, you know the, the fur type is it soft is it is it wiry is it rough um, you know is it smooth is it curly is it long is it you know whatever and really really look at the quality of the fur and replicate the length of the hairs so the, the cat's ears here the hairs are really long and sort of curled around um, whereas uh, the hairs on the ear here are much shorter and we really need to get that quality of, of fur in there to help with the focus okay and it's very very tempting to sort of rush um, and you'll see that I've, I'm going much slower than normal and just being really, 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 or trying to be really precise in here with how this is all working. And I'm now going to move up and I'm going to use a cold grey. Um, up into here, I'm actually going to, this is cold grey three, I'm actually going to sharpen that because it is very blunt. <sighs> It's not super sharp now it's still kind of quite rounded at the end and I'm just going to pull a little bit of the cold grey up into here So we've got some value in there, we've got some colour in there. Um, I might just bring a little bit of this cold grey into here as well. I like to um, mix cool and, and warm greys. I think they look really, really nice together. Okay, and then I'm just going to come down into this little uh, tufty bit here. So we've got a little bit of that orange and I'm using um, the I'm using the apricot here. So I'm just going to bring a little bit of this in. This is the Pablo. We can we can strengthen it a little bit, but for this the first uh, layer, we just want this sort of very gentle pale orangey colour. And I'm just going to come down through into here as well. Just just working through. I mean, I've got a line art here. It's it's OK. It's not it's not got every single marking beautifully precise. But, you know, I can kind of see where the colours are going to be blocked in. Uh, right. Where was I? Uh, yeah. So the orange in there, I'm going to bring a little bit more. Probably a tiny bit of burnt ochre. Hey, slipper. Do you want to go under there? Go on then. A little bit of the um, burnt ochre. I'm just going to bring a touch into there. I've just been trekking through the field. So the front of our drive's done and um, it's been done this morning. We're not allowed to go on it for 24 hours. So I have to go round the back, through the field and in through my neighbour's garden. <laughs> so okay so just again just little tiny very very gentle touches in there you don't want to use too hard pressure and the apricot just keeps it that little bit sort of more delicate just coming in there so we're sort of um, kind of drawing what's underneath the fur first if that makes sense um, we've got this little bit of a we've got this little bit of a, a landmark here 
where there's sort of that bit of black fur going over the top there and then we've got this little sort of um, bit coming through here as well okay so um, I'm going to bring a little bit more of that warm grey uh, one in One grey one into here. And a little bit into there as well. With the lighter colours, um, I tend to be a little bit speedier with them just because you can't see the pencil marks as much as the darker colours. So I'm still using nice light pressure, but I'm not being as careful, um, you know, getting getting the colours all down, um, the pencil lines all down together. Putting that in there. Okay. And then I think what I'll do is, I'll, I'm just going to bring a little bit more of that one grey one into there. That's going to be very, very soft up there. So um, we want really soft pencil strokes up there. And I might bring a little bit of luminance in to help with the softness. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring that white piece of paper underneath so I can't see. Um, the pencil lines so all I can see are uh, you know the, the values in there rather than all of the pencil lines um, just bring that to that, uh, do that a up a little bit just poke it underneath the magnet slightly that's it okay and then what I want to start doing now is just bringing some of those slice marks in so we've got the that lovely hair coming across so I'm going to take my slice tool um, the way I hold it is upside down, I'm right handed so I hold it upside down and then I move it slightly to the left. And I'm going to be going this way so I'm going to be using the, um, the edge to just gently scrape. So I'm using it slightly to the right in this case, if I was going that way a bit to the left. So I'm just turning it slightly to the right. I'm holding it like I would a pen or a pencil. Um, and I'm just going to treat it as if it's a, a white pencil that I'm using. So we're kind of starting in here and then I'm just going to very gently start to bring these uh, little hairs in. So I'm being really specific about where these hairs are going. There's no sort of crazy scraping or anything like that. I'm being really, really, really specific. And then I'm just going to come through here as well. Just bring some in through there. And you can see as soon as we start to bring the slice marks in, we can see how, um, how we need to really bring in more colour so that we can see where they're going. And you've got to be quite careful at this point if you don't have enough colour down. It's very tempting to just go, oh, well, I'll just carry on. It, it'll be fine. Actually, what happens is you end up putting slice marks in that you, you can't see. So you don't really know where they're going. Um, and then it can it can cause sort of quite a few problems later on when you've got a mark where you didn't actually want it to be. So I'm being really quite gentle at the minute. Just bring that glassing paper in here. <coughs> Come around there. Let's get these little. So we're being really, really, really careful about the length, the positioning, the angle of these little um, hairs here.
Okay, and then I'm just going to bring some. It's a bit of a tricky one, is this? I might have to bring them the other way. So we've got that in really nice and gently so now what we can do is we can start to build up a little bit more so i'm actually going to use the black which might seem a little bit extreme but um, we're going to use it really nice and gently i'm going to come in on the edge of the ear here let's bring a little bit more up onto that edge and then just bring it so it should just sort of sit in between the slice marks and just bring a, um, a, a just gentle bit of value up there again really really gentle pressure well just so that we can sort of see those little lines in there so very 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 gentle pressure again and you can see my pencil is sort of just sitting and just drifting up very 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 gently so the softest pressure that you can muster I'm just going to come down here again and just bring a little bit more value into here and then I probably bring a bit more slice in Remember a little bit more slice into here. just nice and gently and I'm going to use the Tombow let's make sure it's got a relatively clean end on there and then I'm just going to just bring a little bit so where we put that black in there and then just going to bring the Tombow and just take that back down so it's a little bit lighter sometimes you need to add the the values in so that you can then get the little highlights in or get it to the right um you know get it to to be the right uh tone okay 
Okay, and then I'm just going to bring a little bit of the Tombow into the bit at the ear there. 